Hello and welcome to the Palace Christmas Quiz. Merry Christmas to one and all and welcome to my snowy land here. And welcome back to everyone who did the quizzes in lockdown last year. And do not worry, I've learnt my lesson from when I tried to be far too clever with the last one and it was just too difficult for everyone. This one is a lovely family friendly quiz. There should be questions that people of all ages can get right. It's really simple, it's just four rounds of questions. You can play it on your own, you can play it in teams against each other, you can play it all together, whatever you want to do at home. But just in case you've forgotten to get pens and papers, I'll give you 30 seconds now to run around the house and get that ready. So round one is Christmas songs and with the first question it's a man who has been at the club for nearly 10 years. Let's go over to Joel Ward. Hi guys, right this is the first question of the Christmas quiz. What is the first words to let it snow, let it snow, let it snow? Yes thank you Joel, so that question is what is the first line to the song let it snow, let it snow, let it snow? You've got 30 seconds to answer. My question is, who did Elton John record a Christmas song with this year? Who has Elton John recorded a Christmas song with this year? You've got 30 seconds. Hi guys, my question is, which band had a Christmas number one the same year Patrick Vieira won the World Cup? So that was which band had a Christmas number one the same year that Patrick Vieira won the World Cup? And for the final question of the round, we're going to go to our ball playing centre back, Joachim Anderson. Everyone wants some Danish Lego for Christmas, but what is the theme song for the Lego movie? The question from Joachim there was what was the theme song to the Lego movie? Now, I'm aware that is not a Christmas song. I just wanted to do something about him mentioning Danish Lego. So I hope you all did well in that round. We'll hear from the players later on with their answers. But for now, we're going to move on to round two. And as you've probably guessed by the title of this round, this one is all about the main man, Patrick Vieira. So question number one. In what country was Patrick Vieira born?
Question number two. Patrick Vieira has played for three Italian clubs and two English clubs. Name all five of them and you get a point for each one that you get. Question number three. Patrick managed New York City FC from 2016 to 2018, but what is their home stadium called? Question number four. This one might be for the younger ones out there that can still get away with playing computer games. What is Patrick Vieira's overall rating on his FIFA 22 icon card? Is it A, 88, B, 90, or C, 86? And the final question of the gaffer round, question number five. Vieira's first win as Palace manager in the Premier League came against Spurs, but who scored the first goal that day? I'm sure you all got loads of points from that round. Let's move on to round number three. So round number three is the decades round. And what this one is, it's five questions. Each question is about a different decade. So we've got the 70s, 80s, 90s, noughties, and teenies. Is that right? Is it the teenies? The 2010s, let's call it the 2010s. Anyway, question number one is about the 1970s. Which London club did Jim Cannon score against on his debut in 1973? Jim Cannon, Palace legend, and you can see him in Spironi's on a match day before a game. Uh, I'm not on commission from Premium Hospitality for that, but uh, it's worth booking if you get the chance. Anyway, moving on to question number two, which is about the 1980s, and this is about a player who was signed in the 1980s. It's a simple one. Whose Wikipedia career is this? Moving on to a fantastic decade, 
the 1990s full of wet look hair gel and centre partings, the question for the 1990s is, which Italian club did we sign Attilio Lombardo from in 1997? Flying through into the baggy jeaned 2000s or noughties, question number four, all you have to do in this one is name each one of the players in that photo from Stockport v Palace in 2001 and you get a point for each player that you get. Easy. Right, question number five. I thought I'd get the dog in because he walked in the room and he looks lovely in this uh, snowy wonderland. Okay, we move into the 2010s or teenies. Yannick Bellassi turned the game around when he came on against Brighton in the second leg of the playoffs in 2013. But who did he replace in the 62nd minute? So I hope you did well in that round. What a lovely, easy quiz this is. There's only one round to go. Let's get on with it. So here we are on the final round of the quiz. I realise I've been doing this quite uh, over the top presentery quiz master voice the whole way through, but it's too late to change now, so I'm gonna carry on with it. Let's move on to question number one of the final round. Jordan Ayew scored this amazing goal against West Ham on Boxing Day in 2019. Oh, he's still got it. And still, are you? Oh, what a goal for Crystal Palace! But who was in goal for West Ham that day? Question number two. Dwight Gale scored this absolute screamer against Villa on Boxing Day in 2013. Dwight Gale! Can he win it? He can! That is stunning! But which left footer played the ball to him? Question number three, an easy one. Who did Palace play on Boxing Day last year? Question number four. 
Johan Kabai scored this goal against Watford on Boxing Day in 2016. Riddled away from Holobas and from Zuniga, and he's slipped it through for Kabai, who scores splendidly. It's a really fine Crystal Palace goal. Who was manager that day? And the final question of the quiz is question number five. Palace play Spurs on Boxing Day this year, but what is the capacity of the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium? And you've got three options. So that is the end of the quiz. And before we get to the answers, I'm just gonna give you a minute. I'll give you one minute just to make sure you've got everything in order, ready for when we go back to the start and mark everything through. So have fun and why don't we play a goal? Let's have a look at Conor Gallagher's goal recently at Sellers Park. Which almost went badly wrong, it has gone wrong. It's come to Conor Gallagher, oh, beauty! That wins any game. Certainly does. Just watch Seamus Coleman here. Gets the free kick. They're not Jeffrey Schlupp standing on the ball. He tries to take it with the Palace player standing right on it. He's got to make sure he gets 10 yards away. Then after that, wow, that's a great goal. Well, look. He just tries to thump that Seamus Coleman. I don't know why he takes it quite so quickly. But once Conor Gallagher gets down here to the box, he whips out and that's curling and bending away from Jordan Pickford. And he's just not big enough to get there and prevent that one from nestling in the corner. And he's had so many games this season. Right, round one was the Christmas songs round. The first one was read to you by Joel Ward. So let's go back to him for the answer. For those of you who got it right, it is of course, what was it? <laughs> for those of you who got it right, it is of course for <laughs> For those of you who got it right, it's of course oh <sighs> What is wrong with me? <laughs> for those of you who got it right, it is of course oh for the weather outside is frightful. Merry Christmas everybody. I hope you have a great time with the loved ones and family and uh, happy new year as well. Now how many of you at home are going there? The weather outside is because that's what I did for ages, which is why I put that question in. So well done if you got that right. If you got that right, you get one point. The answer to my question is Ed Sheeran. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, the answer there was Ed Sheeran. If you got that right, you get one point. The answer is Spice Girls. Goodbye. Hope you all have a good Christmas. There, the answer was the Spice Girls, and it was Goodbye, the song, back in 1998. And the final question of that round was, what was the theme song to the Lego movie? The answer to my question is that everything is awesome. Merry Christmas, everyone. And the answer is, everything is awesome, exclamation mark. But if you didn't put the exclamation mark, you don't need to mark yourself down. You get one point if you put everything is awesome. Round two was the gaffer round. Question number one was in what country was Patrick Vieira born? And the answer was Senegal. One point if you got that one right. Question two was Patrick has played for three Italian clubs and two English clubs. Name them all and you get one point for each one. In Italy, he's played for AC Milan, Juventus and Inter Milan. And in England, he's played for Arsenal and Manchester City. So one point for each of those. So a possible five points from that one question. 
Question number three was he managed New York City FC from 2016 to 2018, but what is the name of their home stadium? And the answer is the world famous Yankee Stadium. One point if you got that right. Question four was what is Vieira's overall rating on his FIFA 22 icon card? And the correct answer is 88. One point if you got that right. And the final answer of the round is Palace's first win under Vieira, came against Spurs, but who scored the first goal? And the answer is Wilfred Zaha with a penalty against Spurs. So one point if you got that right. Let's have a look at the answers to the decades round. So question one of the decades round was which London club did Jim Cannon score against on his debut in 1973? And the answer is Chelsea. And I believe that that was the very first game that Steve Parrish went to as a young fan. Question number two was about the 1980s. I asked you whose Wikipedia career this is. The answer is, of course, the legend, the star of the quiz during lockdown last year, Mr. Mark Bright. Question three is about the 1990s. I asked you which Italian club we signed Attilio Lombardo from in 1997. And the answer is Juventus. One point if you got that right. Question number four had three points available in it. It was about the 2000s. And I asked you if you could name all three players in this photograph from Palace v Stockport in 2001. And the answers are from left to right, Steve Thompson, Dougie Friedman and Mikel Forcell. And the final question of the decades round was about the 2010s. Uh, Yannick Balassi came on in the playoff semi-final against Brighton in 2013, turned the game around, but who did he replace in the 62nd minute? And the answer is Johnny Williams. And I'll plug it again. Don't forget you can watch that on When Eagles Dare, which is available on Amazon Prime Video, but also on Palace TV+. Plus. Okay, then let's mark the final round of the quiz. And the final round was, of course, the Boxing Day Games round. The first question I asked you was, uh, Jordan Ayew scored that amazing goal against West Ham on Boxing Day in 2019, but who was playing in goal for West Ham that day? And the answer is Roberto Jimenez. So congratulations if you got that right. One point for you. Question number two about the Boxing Day Games was Dwight Gale scoring that screamer against Villa. I asked you which left footer played the ball through to him. The answer is Dean Moxie. Although I'm sure on the clip that we've seen loads that we put on social media, the commentator calls him Williams, but it wasn't. It was Dean Moxie who played the ball through to him. One point if you got that right. The third question of the Boxing Day Games round was a simple one. It was who did Palace play on Boxing Day last year? I couldn't remember, had to look it up. It was Aston Villa and we lost 3-0. Let's never talk about it again. One point if you got that right though. Question four, Johan Kabai scored a lovely goal against Watford on Boxing Day in 2016, but who was the manager back then? I guess the question could have just been who was Palace manager on Boxing Day 2016, but we wanted to play a clip of a goal. But the answer is Sam Allardyce. Big Sam was on the touchline that day. One point if you got that right. Right, the final answer of the Boxing Day round, the final answer of the quiz. It was question number five in this round. Palace play Spurs on Boxing Day, but what is the capacity of the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium? The answer is C, 62,850. So there you go, that's all the answers to the quiz. I'm just gonna give you uh, another 30 seconds just to top up your answers between you because if you've got a draw, if you're playing against each other, I'm gonna come back with a tiebreaker question, but everyone else can just do the tiebreaker for fun anyway. So I'll give you 30 seconds and then I'll be back with the tiebreaker. tiebreaker time and we're going to stick with the Boxing Day theme for this. 
Palace played Bournemouth on Boxing Day in 2015. It was a nil-nil draw. It was pretty boring. I remember I was there. You have two minutes to name every member of the Palace starting lineup from that game. And whoever gets the most wins. Go. Okay, so your time is up on the tiebreaker. I'm gonna put the team up on the screen now for you to mark and see who has won. So here's the team on the screen now. Wayne Hennessy, then a back four of Joel Ward, Scott Dan, Damien Delaney and Pap Soiree. A midfield of Wilfred Zaha, Joe Ledley, James MacArthur and Jason Punchin. And a front two of Fraser Campbell and Jordan Much. So that is the end of the quiz. Congratulations if you won. Just congratulations if you just had fun playing it on your own at home. Hopefully we'll do another one of these soon. Uh, I'd love to do it at the training.